hey it will take only 30 seconds to convert octal to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to octal number system if you don't believe me watch the video till the end and i'll prove it to you that you will be able to convert it in just 30 seconds so without wasting time let's get started so first we are going to convert octal to hexadecimal conversion and this is our number which we are going to convert so in order to convert this number from octal to hexadecimal we'll separate both these numbers integer part and the fractional part and we'll write our octal binary and hexadecimal table first we'll convert this octal number to binary number and then we'll convert the binary number to hexadecimal number as we know that the octal number can be represented as three digit binary number to represent any individual octal number you require three digit so here we'll first convert this octal number to binary so here you're supposed to start with the least significant bit that is seven so what is the binary equivalent to seven one 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 so we'll write one 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 here the next number is six so what will be the binary equivalent to six that is one one zero so write one one zero here and the third number is three so binary equivalent to three is one one so instead writing one one you should write zero one one so this is the binary equivalent to this octal number and now we'll go for the fractional number in fractional number we'll start with the three so binary equivalent to three is zero one one so write zero one one here the next number is five binary equivalent to five that is one zero one so we'll write one zero one here now here we combine all this binary number and forms a complete number one 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 zero one 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 this is our complete number now what we supposed to do now we supposed to club a group of four binary digits to form a hexadecimal number why a group of four binary digits because here you can see that to represent any hexadecimal number you should require maximum four binary bits right so to represent any individual digit of hexadecimal you should use four binary bits so that is why what we'll do here we'll start by combining a club of four binary digits and then convert it to hexadecimal number so we'll start with the least significant bit the club of four is zero one 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 zero one 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 is equivalent to seven because you add zero here so it's zero one 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 so we'll write seven over here and the next is one 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 so what is the hexadecimal equivalent to four one that is f so here we have converted integer part of this octal number to hexadecimal equivalent and now we are going for the fractional part here also you're supposed to follow the same principle you need to combine the number and write it as 011101 here it is and then starts from this side to create a club of four bits so here we have created the club of four bits at 0111 which is equivalent to 7 so we'll write 7 over here and then we have only two digits 0 and 1 so what we supposed to do we supposed to add two zeros over here so now the number is 0 1 0 0 and the number equivalent to that is 4 0 1 0 0 so we'll write 4 over here so together our entire number becomes f 7.74 this is the hexadecimal equivalent to the octal number so now we are going to check that in 30 seconds are you able to solve it or not this is the question which you can see on the screen 137.47 this is the octal number you need to convert it into hexadecimal number within 30 seconds and once you complete the answer write the answer in comments below now we're supposed to convert hexadecimal number into octal number so this is our number which we are going to convert and this is the table which we are going to refer for that conversion so we'll write both this number this is integer part and this is fractional part and we'll start with the 9 on the integer part the binary equivalent to 9 is 1001 so we'll write it here and then that is a the binary equivalent to a that is 1010 so we'll write it here 
now we combine both this binary number and forms a complete binary number and now we'll go for the fractional part here we have d the binary equivalent to d is 1101 so we'll write it here and then that is 9 so the binary equivalent to 9 is 1001 so we will write it here now again we'll combine both this number and forms a complete binary number and now here for both integer and fractional part we have binary number ready to get converted into octal number so in order to convert binary into octal we supposed to create a club of three digits so we'll start with the least significant bit and we'll create a group of three and that is 001 so 001 which is equivalent to 1 so we'll write 1 over here the next club of 3 is 101 so 101 which is equivalent to 5 so we'll write 5 here and then we have only 1 and 0 so what we supposed to do we supposed to add one more 0 on left hand side so now the club of 3 is 010 and 010 which is equivalent to 2 here 2 is of only 2 bits representation right so in order to represent it with 3 bits what are you supposed to do you supposed to add one more 0 here so that is why it's 010 which is equivalent to 2 so this 251 is equivalent to this A9 now the next part is D9 we'll start with this one we'll create a club of 3 it is 110 and that is equivalent to 6 so we'll write 6 here the next club of three digits is again 110 which is equal to 6 and then we have only 01 so what are we supposed to do we supposed to add one more 0 over here so it becomes 010 again that 010 which is equal to 2 so we'll write 2 over here so if we combine this integer and fractional part and write the octal equivalent to this hexadecimal number we'll get this and now it's time to convert decimal to octal number octal to decimal number decimal to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to octal number conversion and if you want to learn that watch our next video and in order to check that in 30 seconds are you able to convert octal from hexadecimal or hexadecimal to octal here on the screen i am giving you one question solve it in 30 seconds and write that thing in comments below if you want to learn any other conversion just refer this playlist and i assure you that you will be able to clear all your concepts regarding number system and digital electronics so see you in the next video